Good morning. How is my favorite patient doing today? I don't give that special medicine to anyone, you know. Just you. You really are my favorite. No, I promise you, I don't just say that to everyone. Just you. No, you are not a bother at all. The last patient I saw, you know, just before coming here, actually yelled at me because the night shift janitor didn't clean out the trash can right? And your guess is as good as mine. Really, it's probably someone who just doesn't have a whole lot going for them and need to feel like they have some control over something. I can't be too mad at him. But at the same time, uh, patients like that are why I can say without a doubt that you are my favorite patient. No, you actually have conversation. Do you know how rare that is? You would think. You would think that people would be more willing to have an open and honest conversation about their health, but... Well... It turns out a lot of people don't like the reality check. They just... They just don't want to hear it. Yeah, I mean it. Anyway, I'm getting, um... I'm getting all distracted because you're just too fun to talk to. And you actually have work to do, you know. Uh... So I'm just going to look over your chart from last night. Yeah. No, everything is looking really good. If things continue this way, we, uh, we might be able to send you home in just another day or two. We just want to make sure that you've recovered from your surgery. You know. It's a real shame, tearing your ACL like that. But you know, I have to say, throughout this whole process of healing, you've been very upbeat. It's a little odd, I will admit. A lot of patients in your shoes tend to get really focused on the things that they've lost because of the mobility challenges, right? But you, I don't know, I guess somehow you just are always able to look on the bright side. You know, I said I was going to um, go and get some actual work done. And I guess I am, technically, because... You know, a doctor's bedside manner is very important. Well, of course it doesn't hurt. It does take years of study and practice. But bedside manner is also very important. I mean, you wouldn't exactly want to have a different doctor by your side, right? I think you like my particular brand of practice in medicine. We certainly did last night, didn't you? I am a little bit surprised that you've recovered this quickly. Well, okay, um... To be very honest with you, I completely made that up. I had no idea it would actually work, and I don't really know why it did. And... Yes, for research purposes. With your permission, of course. You know, purely professional reasons. I need to 
just run a few more tests and make sure everything's functioning exactly as it should. I'm fairly sure you catch my meaning. Ah, uh, but you see, the thing is, there is certain protocol that has to be followed. And well, so long as you're a patient of mine, that, that violates all kinds of ethics. Mm. Don't really like the idea of risking my career for that, though. So what I was going to recommend, if you will agree with me, I think that the best thing we could do is get you healed up as quickly and thoroughly as possible and then could share more of that very special medicine with you. Maybe a little bit more. Mm, don't be embarrassed. It just means that things are functioning as they should. Mm, it's maybe a little flattering. But you do need your rest still. Just to make sure that everything recovers fully. Mm, no, no, no. We don't want to get any extraneous exercise before you're really ready for it. As enjoyable as that might be, we don't want to be putting you at risk. Because for the time being, I am still your doctor. And so we will I'm Unfortunately, you have to follow the rules until you're discharged, so I am going to need you to behave yourself and recover as quickly as you can. So, to help out with that, I brought you something. A no note from the gift shop here. That's a little bit cliche, don't you think? No, I... I made it myself. I actually, uh... Very strongly believe you will like it. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. Now, officially, I am not allowed to give you any gifts. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to just... Set this down and absentmindedly forget that it's here. When I walk out of the room, well, oops, I lost it somewhere. But I would really like you to have it. Ah, uh, um, I think it would be better if you wait until I'm out of the room. It's Something you may want to have in private. Something to remember me by. Something to look forward to, perhaps. Oh, but that takes all of the fun out of it. I get to sit here, at least for a little bit longer, and just haunt you with the fact that I know what it is and you don't. I'm quite sure you will love it, but, well, you don't get to know yet. Because if anyone walks in on you opening it while I'm in the room, it's very obvious I gave it to you. And we can't have that. Well, that's why I set it down over here where I can reach it and you can't. But I... Promise you the wait will be so worth it. Well, that is if you like the special attention you've been getting. A deserve? You really don't see it, do you? 
You deserve so much more than you let yourself know. You are far too hard on yourself. You need someone else to help you out. Perhaps. Ah, uh, for the time being. Oh, why don't I, um, grab that remote for you? No, I really mean it. There are not many who would be willing to dive in front of a moving train to save someone else. A hero? <laughs> I didn't say you were a hero. Those are your words. But you know what? At least in this instance, they're very fitting. No, I do mean it, though. Here you are, just your average citizen of your average town, and... Oh, nonsense. There were three other people who saw what was about to happen, and none of them were so brave and selfless to put someone else's life ahead of their own. You know, I am a doctor for a reason. I fully believe that the best thing we can do with our lives is try to help and improve the lives of others. And I do my best every day. I walk into these doors, sometimes don't leave again for 12 or 24 or 36 hours. Because I really want to make a difference in people's lives, and there is absolutely no doubt that you made a tremendous difference in at least that one life. You shouldn't talk so badly about yourself. You really shouldn't. I'm a doctor, I know these things. No, I mean it. The more often you think that, the more often you say it, the stronger the neural pathways in your brain become, and the more like reality it feels. Well, it's like I said, I don't give this offer to everyone. We have already a good bit beyond the rules that we've done already. Any more would be too risky. So, I think I've got to take my leave now. Yes, but we've been chatting for quite some time, and there really isn't that much to go over in your chart, so people are going to start getting suspicious. We don't want that. No, you... Go ahead and open that present after I leave, and... Hmm. Let's just say I left you a very... Intimate surprise. Mm. Get well soon, darling. Hello, everyone. Star here, and thank you for listening to this video, audio, video thing. So, I want to address the elephant in the room real quick. Uh, yeah, I took a bit of a hiatus and I kind of just disappeared without making a community post or anything. Um, I'm sorry. I am working on consistency and balancing things between this channel and 
you know, my IRL life and things, and I'm not the most consistent YouTuber out there. I'm not. I would like to be, eventually. Until that point, um, I do think unexpected, you know, breaks are going to happen. But I will always be back. Always. I do really mean it in these outros. When I sit here and I say things like, this is my dream come true, because it really is. And I'm not giving up on it. That's not going to happen. Even if, you know, maybe I need a few breaks here and there. I am not giving up. It's, it's just too much fun fun and it's great to have some sort of creative outlet where I get control over what I'm doing and how I'm producing things and I feel like I'm about to go into a big long drawn out outro here and I want to avoid that so just to summarize everything I was thinking really um nicely I love making these video audio audio things. I do. Sometimes I struggle. I am new to being a creator. It's still a process for me. We've been here for about a year now. Um, it's been a year. I love this. I love recording. I love editing. I love well, I don't love uploading, it's just a thing I do, but I do like putting the tags in and things like that. It's just really enjoyable. So, hi, I'm here, I'm back, I'm sorry I kind of disappeared. It's gonna happen again, I'm sorry in advance, but I will keep coming back. I promise that much. That's gonna be it for this one, I think. Uh... So if you've listened this far into the outro, which is a little longer than I intended, extra big thank you so, so much. And um, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like and subscribe for me, please. Because if you've been here this long, I think, I think, I think you might, I don't know. Please do. I would appreciate it. Um, until next time. Bye. Mwah.